preparation video, so I thought I'd film it. What I've got is a cast iron doorbell that's in the shape of a duck. Yeah, it sounds confusing, doesn't it? <laughs> really, you're thinking, what, doorbell, duck, what? So let me show you. So this is what I've got. It's cast iron. Um, as you can see, it's been a bit, it's a bit past it, isn't it? Needs a good clean up. And there's a little, it goes in the bottom, it's got a bit of string. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get on it. So this here, um, I've taken the, um, knocker out there we go and there's the bottom of the, the bit you shake I don't know what you call that <laughs> so like I say it's in a bit of poor shape but it's not too bad like I say I think it's been painted a couple of times so we're gonna rub it down quite well so uh, let's see how we get on so this is what I do if I'm rubbing something down using one of these uh, wide brush ends I'll just put the drill in a vice Oh, it's not switched on. Bear me. There we go. And then you just oh, lock it on like that. And then you can just uh, do what you have to do. Oh, you can't really see it. Let me uh, do a little bit. Oh, you are after doing it already. Right. Get in there, get a bit more paint off. So now we're gonna start on the bell. So everything's uh, now rubbed down, so that we've removed all the paint, and uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to red oxide them, okay, so um, what paint have I got? This is the one I'm going to use. Very good. This is actually quite good, you know, I've painted several things in this and it takes some ages to rust through, yeah? So, I've red oxided everything. Um, I did actually spray it. Uh, I don't know what I've done with a tin now, but I did have a tin of red oxide in a spray tin, so I just used it up. There was just a little bit left. So, uh, yeah, look at that. So it'll look a lot better when it's done. So the colour we're going to go for is, we're going to use Rimmy Blue Ford. So I've used this paint before and it's actually quite good, but there's three quarters of a tin, so it's enough to do that. Uh, we're just using a paint really on random stuff, because <laughs> we've got a lot of half tins or quarter tins. So yeah, let's see what it will look like. It's all right in blue. So I've just got it all back together again. There was a couple of bits I missed on the paint, so I just uh, touched it up. Um, so it's all back together. I've literally just got to put a bit of new string through. But yeah, it's get looks a lot better, I think. So I'm having to use boot lace uh, <laughs> uh, because technically we're still on lockdown, okay, and we've got no string, and the string we've got is bright orange. <laughs> So I'm going to use a piece of boot lace uh, instead. So yeah. Well, what you have to do on lockdown, eh? So let's get it put together. There we have it. I think it looks a lot better. Very nice. 
Well, I hope you're enjoying these little videos uh, of things I've been doing recently. Um, it's nice working with cast iron, you know. <laughs> it always comes up nice when you've done it. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I'd like to say a quick hello to all my new subscribers. I seem to have gained quite a few recently, so hello. <laughs> and I will see you all very soon in a new video. Uh, so keep liking and sharing, and I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. And See you later.